We are pleased to brief you today on the recent, just concluded uh, meeting with the officers of the Department of PHE and PW Department. Hakajingi Kindo, Mintakasni, Nakaliang Unong Mi Kamat Kanong Tamai Constituency, Uba Charles Spring Rope, Rinkat Kajinga Don Lang, Uba HM Shanklang, Uletu, Bakajing Shinaya Kasurak, Double Lane, Kadangya Chakamat, Henry Namar Kajing Don Janka Klam, Kala Kam Pinsuki, Kajing Tre, Pindep Yakaniga Surak. Uletu Ru, Bakajing Shinaya Kajaka Sam Um, Hanongra, Kakam Suki, Nakadao Bakajaka, Kade Kababun, the Kimau Siang, Kabapulong Yakajing Tre Kamban Suki. Shu Shu Ulai Thuo Baka Jing Shinai Ka Jing King Ka Ban Bating Na Kawai Ka Jaka Sha Kawai Pan Ka Dang Ya Chakmat Bat Ka La Jan Dep. Whereby we reviewed the ongoing projects which were which are the construction of the double lane bridge at Umpling connecting Shillong City to New Shillong via Umpling and also the internal roads which form an integral part of the communication lines between Shillong and again towards Negrims and the Nongra water supply scheme. In the course of our discussion with the officers, we have been made to understand that there has been uh, progress, albeit a little slow, well that can be compounded because of the uh, pandemic that I mean brought us brought the work to a standstill in the year 2020, the month of March, and the subsequent fallouts because of the various restrictions imposed by the district administration, which had to be done so to avoid the spread of the pandemic. However, we are pleased to know that. This bridge, which is an important connector between the two parts of Shillong, is nearing completion and we have been informed that by the end of March we will be able to use it. They say 18 months, but as a, in reality, not the rains, the, the, the pandemic, 24 months should have been sufficient. Because it's just a concrete bridge. The just as concrete, then the girders are concrete, the slab is concrete, so it's not a, it's a, not a very complicated design. Yeah. And that's 17, 70 metric tons. So designing such a bridge is not a very difficult proposition. And the difficulty of the area, which was chosen to build the raw water sump, that has taken a lot of time because of the, the nature of the soil, which is more of rock than anything else that has slowed down the progress. But uh, there also, we have been informed that now, by this year I feel, it will not be very immediate, but by this year we should be able to draw water for that, from that raw water sum for the residents of Nongra village itself. <coughs> so they have proposed uh, house connections, initially just the water supply of about 8 lakh litres per day. This water supply scheme, this uh, the main raw water sump, we must understand what that is. That is the main reservoir that takes all the water from different sources. So we have a source, perennial water source, so that supply will supply this sump. Then we have the existing pumps, water source which will supply this. Then they have done two, three drilling sites. One site will, one borewell will supply this sump other two will go straight to the uh, intake tank for their treatment, treatment plant. Uh, see, before the rains come, they'll have to complete the raw water sample. Otherwise, another, another year will pass. Because during the rainy season, you cannot construct the water sample. So by end of Jan, we have asked the engineers to start the construction of the pillars which will hold the slab that will cover the tank so that the water can collect there. Now, there may be a possibility that they will not be able to uh, complete the base of the tank, the raw water sump, because of the rocks you saw today, which means the, the cubic capacity of the tank will reduce. 
to a certain extent, which I feel could be negligible. So, but as long as the water is coming in, pumping can be done twice a day also. There is no issue. Sanction has been made uh, and uh, some work has been carried out. But uh, that was very slow. So, we have been informed today that all the uh, schemes that were proposed under the rehabilitation and reconstruction of roads has been allotted to the contractor. So that's one good step in the right direction. Now it's up to the contractors to start and get the ball rolling. First, again we come to the same point, these roads are feeding new Shiro. So we cannot take it lightly. It's not a question of Nongra or Umpling or anybody. It's these roads are the arterial roads that lead so, for if you want decongestion of Shillong, you have to take special attention to all these roads. The Honorable Deputy Chief Minister had spoken to me during that time that we will be also constructing another bridge over the Umgalya, mm -hmm. that is from MES to Dongshorong Umpling and again connecting Ichirwan. Mm -hmm. uh, now, that's uh, quite large. This is seven, the total cost of that, approximately at today's rate, will be about 70 crores. But that is also a very important feeder bridge to ease the decongestion from Shillong to Negroes. So that proposal we maybe put up in this next budget.